Welcome to the Bub Army YouTube channel. Uh, it's the Bubba Bubba Sponge Show. My good friend Matt Arroyo is in here. Now, Matt, has you, have you warned Jeff that you can't take too many things because I'm kind of a smart ass? I actually did. <laughs> Because I said he could be pretty direct. So listen, Jeff, ready. you little Matt Sarah want to be looking son of a bitch. Don't you come in here and try to have your students show out on me. Next thing you know, I'm in trouble. Okay, buddy. Sounds good to me, but I'm I'm in her corner. I'm coaching yeah, her. But this so. is my dojo. This is my dojo. <laughs> That'd be like going, you know. I mean, now would this be considered my dojo, uh, 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 Matt? Would this be considered mine? Absolutely. Yeah. You are you're the master of this dojo. Right. I am the black. I am the 15 time black belt. Mm-hmm. You're Bubba Khan. What's I'm Bubba Khan? What's the most highly decorated black belt in the world? The history of the whole sport. Ooh. Well, right now the new guy is uh, Gordon Ryan, and he's pretty much breaking all the records. But he's not like, I guess he would be like LeBron, and then Jordan would be, who would be Michael Jordan, Andre Galvao, Marcelo Garcia. But how about some of the original Gracies, like uh, Henzo or Hendo, like some of those dudes, like some of the dudes. That you know, who was Hoyce's dad? Alio. Alio, and then and then who was Alio's dad? We don't know that. Car- Carlos Senior. That like, was his dad. Yeah, yeah. Jeff just Jeff just showed <laughs> the, yeah, the boss man out. history. My flex. <clears throat> yeah, Carlos. Yeah, so who was so. the one that developed it? Was it one of the he- was it Helio or something? There's there's a lot of like <laughs> books written lately about how a lot of it might have been a lie, but oh. from what we know, uh, it was. Elio Gracie watching his his dad and learn these Japanese techniques, mm-hmm. and then he was like, "No, nah, this won't work. This will work." And then perfecting what he watched, and he was basically a genius. And uh, just kind of kind of honed in on different different you know it, skill sets within like judo, kind of maybe. Pretty much, yeah. And then put his own thing to it and taught it to all his sons. And then and now it's a multi billion. Oh, I mean, yeah. nobody would have ever thought. I mean, you know, UFC is just one facet. I mean, you, if you look at, uh, you know, mixed martial arts and you look at just, you know, Matt, you have your own school, obviously. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other Gracie franchises around here. Mm-hmm. Um, and all the other schools that teach this sort of thing. I mean, it's a multi-billion dollar business. For sure. Yeah, it's all over the world now. I had a, I have a listener. It's a woman. Her name's Dawn. And she used to uh, work. She used to live here in Tampa. And I think she went to one of the Gracie schools. And she now uh, lives in Charleston, South Carolina. And she was like, the people of Tampa don't really realize how advanced MMA is. And t- Tampa-based MMA supposedly is recognized as some, like, different territories have are recognized. for. Di- and I guess Tampa's recognized as kind of a hotbed for good MMA. Yeah. She couldn't find a school up there that was comparable to, you know, what she could learn here. Well, that's honestly thanks to Rob Khan and, and actually Monster Lobster and those guys because he was one of the first to get on the Ultimate Fighter show and then he got a bunch of us on. And Boy, Monster this... Lobster. Yeah. He was quite a handful. Oh, was Rob he was not? telling me stories about that. Like, yeah. on Monday. Seven kids now. How many? <laughs> Seven kids. And he's an Seven animal, animal, is he not? <clears throat> he is. Is he I easily love... triggered? Oh, he's easily triggered. His whole life's a tree. He's never not triggered. Okay. He's never, he never not wants to beat your ass. See, here's the problem with Monster Lobster. He used MMA the wrong way. He used it to really beat people up. Outside of the cage. He, exactly. <laughs> he used it so when he was at a nightclub, he could tap out the bouncer. Oh, that's no. what he used it for. When I think, you know, that you're not what's supposed to be using it for. Like, I think the, the, the code of... Of of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is to be like a, you know, like my, if I saw Rob Khan or even you, Matt, if I saw your little skinny ass in a bar, I'd be like, <laughs> look at that little Mexican guy. He looks pretty ripped and stuff, but I might be I'll able, smash to, him. I might be able to take that guy if I get on top of him. Yeah, that Mexican guy would kill me in two seconds. Remember, Rob t- tapped me in eight seconds. Remember? Yes, I do. It was amazing. <clears throat> and so you see these guys. That's how most of these MM guy, MMA guys are wired. Secret assassins. Yeah, just super cool, like. They'll even be like, I don't, you don't want to fight me. I remember when uh, Rob Kahn tapped out Fabrizi at my bachelor party. Uh, Fabrizi's, yes. oh, they're all Italian up, all jacked up, you know, slick, greasy Italian, and he, and, and he started crap with Rob. I was actually there. And yep. Rob's like, listen, Richard. You're at his bachelor party? <clears throat> yeah. Nice. Yep. And Richard was like, who's this guy? And I'm like, and I wasn't there. I was getting a lap dance, nonetheless. <laughs> and that. we were in the special area, and Rob was so nice and so kind. He's like, Richard, I'm... Uh, I'm I'm, I'm Rob Kahn. I'm, I'm, I go on the show a lot. I'm 
I'm Bubba's jujitsu guy. Like, you know, when, when UFC uh, is coming to town and Bubba calls me up and I give him all the, you know, stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be here. Fabrice is like, somebody kick this joker out. Rob says, I can assure you, you're not going to want to do that. Well, Fabrice is like, ah, shut up. The next thing you know, Fabrice was on the ground. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> and then Fabrice came and goes, why'd you have to bring the guy that you know, knows all the moves and stuff? I go, that's my friend, buddy. <laughs> but, I mean, that's the way most people are wired, right? You know, oh, yeah. as far as uh, the jujitsu the jiu and the Brazilian jujitsu. And, and, Anna, you're learning it basically, I am. basically kind of from scratch at, at yeah. uh, Matt's place. Mm -hmm. which is, I didn't know which anything is, before. You knew and nothing. I, still, I know a little bit more than zero now. But that's not Jeff's fault. It's just it's taken a while for things to connect in my brain is what I'm realizing. I disagree. I think you're you know a lot more than you think you do. Th thank you. She does. I, She's I, downplaying I it. I think I'm getting I'm getting better. But, you know, as you progress, you roll with people who are better than you. And then you think in your head you're actually getting worse. But what people don't realize, <laughs> what people don't realize, and we talk about Matt's school and other, you know, Gracie uh, franchises around here, or even if you're not listening to us here in Tampa, you know, your local you know, your local Muay Thai, Jiu Jitsu, you know, everybody's got a local one. Mm -hmm. But, you know, 96% of the people that go there are not going to be, you know, world class, you know, D Dana, no. Dana White's going to exactly. sign you tomorrow. But it is so good for self-defense and fitness. I mean, nothing can emulate. Because I used to wrestle in high school, and so I know, you know, that's just folk-style wrestling. But it's kind of the same premise of being on top of a guy, a person being on top of you, and you're wrestling. It's a whole different uh, <clears throat> conditioning and or athletic level than basketball or football or pickleball. Oh, yeah. And so, pickleball. man, you want no, but I'm talking about if you really wanted to get in shape. Yeah. If you really wanted to get in shape and be kind of and be kind of a badass, too, this is what you do. You're not, you're not going to be a black belt. You're, I mean, you could be, but I mean, probably the majority of your students, Matt, are people there to get in shape mm -hmm. and to become more aware and be better, you know, at, at, at being, being tough. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest misconception is everyone's like, oh, I don't want to get hurt. I don't want to get my butt kicked. It's like 90, yeah, like you said, at least 96% of the entire gym is people who just want to get in shape and learn something different. You know, running's boring. Working out is, gets boring and, and tedious. This is never gets boring because it's always a different situation. It's always a different move. And I don't care how long you've been on that pre-core. Go roll with a guy for 37 seconds, and it's oh, the yeah. same as being on the pre-core for two hours. Is it not? Yeah, so it's true. really I intense. mean, you just get blown up. You're like, <laughs> right, right. I mean, rolling around like somebody's weight on top of you and them trying to kill you or, or choke you out mm -hmm. just gives you a whole other level of fitness. And just because you go and train doesn't mean you need to compete in tournaments or anything. No, not exactly. at all. Right. No. And the people think that. They're like, oh, I don't want to fight people in front of a bunch of crowds. Well, that's not what you're going no. to do. Yeah. <clears throat> I yeah. think the community we offer is, is a huge part of it as yes. well. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And I think my favorite thing, and I think this is kind of bizarre. I don't know if anyone's ever said this before, but it really helps me stay present. Yes. Like there's no other, I can't think about what I have to do tomorrow yes. or worry about something that I did earlier that day here when I effed up and Bubba's pissed at me. I have to be so but present in the moment. It. True. And I feel like there's very <laughs> few moments in, in life like that where you just, you're so aware of the present moment. Yeah, you're aware of trying not to get choked exactly. out. Exactly. That's all I'm thinking about is like, how am I going to get out of this pickle? I always tell people, if you give us one year, you should get your blue belt in one year. And if you have your blue belt, oh. you you could pretty much defend yourself against anyone in the, the world big, if you get it to the floor. My biggest regret of my life. Oh, well, let's not. <laughs> uh, say, wow. Uh, wow. I mean, that's a laundry yeah. list. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm way overstepped. I'm way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You oversold that, that one. Way, yeah. way wrong. I completely was stupid. Could have thrown out a tape or something. One of one of my biggest regrets is in 2006 when I met Rob. Rob said, "Hey, um, I come come to my to my place, which I think at the time wasn't a man off in Nebraska. Yep, yep. North Tampa. Come, <clears throat> come to my North Tampa thing once a week, and if you don't want to come there, I'll come to your Clem gym once a week, and I'll spend an hour with you." Just private lessons once a week, and if I had done that, that's uh, insane. I'd be, I'd, it's, I'd be, I'd be a black belt by now, Matt. I'd you almost would. be able to, help, uh, you know, uh, fight you, fight that bald guy beside you. That's sixteen <laughs> years. Maybe. Yeah, you'd definitely be a black belt. God, so I mean, but now I'm just, uh, you know, a pussy, and I'm a white belt. <laughs> you are a white belt. I am a white. Hey, at least I'm a. white But isn't everybody walking on the streets a white belt? I mean, <laughs> but they yes. don't know it. Isn't, yeah. isn't your grandma in the casket a white belt? Yeah. I mean, everybody's a white belt, right? Everyone is. Yeah. And Anna, you have two stripes now. Yeah. Yeah, they both uh, yeah fell off in the in the washing machine, but I do have them. 
Yeah, now, I'll Jeff, certify now, that. Jeff, <laughs> it, now, Matt, you own Gracie South, right? Yes. And Jeff is one of your main instructors, right? Yeah, the main one. Yep. The main it's one. It's the most important. Now, do you two have a role? One. You two have a role? Because I might have. Uh, Jeff might be able to catch you, Matt. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. He's got me in a couple of toe holds before. But no. Uh, Hold on. When you say toe holds, is that a rib saying that nobody would ever, ever tap out to a toe hold? I would. I want to walk. <laughs> it's kind of my jam. That's his jam. Hold man. on, he Jeff. He gets it from everywhere. A toe hold is your, how do you get to, what, do you get the big toe and, and put it in your mouth? Like, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, Jeff, what's a toe hold? You could. Yeah, it's what's just, a toe hold? It's like uh, b- bending, bending the, the foot, you know, grabbing a hold of the toes. And Lummy, you don't, you don't have a staple in your foot. Can we, could we do a toe hold on you? I mean, I mean. Sure. I mean, sure. <laughs> Jeff, could you get, I mean, can, I mean, is that really your jam? How you get people to tap as a toe oh, yeah. hold? Oh, yeah. That's not a, that's not. It's no, real. It's for real. So what do you do? Just take it like this and then just I go like that? Bend, bend a foot in half, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that would be, what if they don't tap? Do they break? It'll it'll tear your it'll, ankle apart. It'll pop. But so how do you get so how do you get in there? I mean, do you get like the leg? You got to get the. Le- I mean, you just can't. Anytime that foot comes close to my upper body, I get I come over it. I grab the toes and I bend it in half. Oh. So if, let's say a guy. What, Please don't teach proper. Matt, <laughs> Matt, what would be like a like? Let's say that you're on offense and you got Jeff in a and and you got your feet right up in his face. Like, what kind of move would you be putting on him where your foot would be in the face? Like what? Like a guillotine? I, I'm, I'm usually either on, in half guard or on side control, and I'm going for something on his arm, and my foot kind of just hangs out by his head, and he'll just reach over, grab and it. You're like, and God I'm like, damn, oh, I knew damn it. I should left my foot there. Dirty birdie. Yeah, it's when that I guy's forget. a foot fetish, son of a bitch. <laughs> he is, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I gave him rear naked. It. He had a rear naked all day, but he went for my feet. Son of a bitch. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we haven't rolled in a while, but uh, we just have different schedules in the gym. But um, yeah, I know you haven't we'll, rolled we'll a while. But what I, do you, what I get, do you I think? get tortured ninety nine percent of the time <laughs> on him by him. Yeah. Right. So. Now, Matt, do you ever let him? Like, yeah, I know he's one of your black. He he was he got a black belt from you. Mm-hmm. So like, at the end of the day, you know, it's probably not a good look if he if he beats you. Right. So yeah. you have to probably go extra hard on him. I always go extra hard on my black belts. You do, always, um, yeah. always. Do you ever yeah. often threaten, like, I, hey, I tapped you too soon. I'm thinking about ex- taking I, this away. <laughs> hey, you still want a job, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> You're fired. I yeah. tapped you three times. You're a pussy. You I've never exper- experienced an easy roll with, yeah. with Matt. Really? <laughs> never. Never. Yeah. Now, do you find yourself, Jeff, like as, as you're rolling with Matt, like, you know, like, oh, I better let him win because he might take my black belt away. That's how the Bubba Joe Joe goes. Right. Right. It's not really, it's, I'm not really the toughest guy, but they all let me win. It's mostly, <laughs> just, it's mostly just me trying to survive. And then if I get lucky and something comes by or I get a little guard pass, I'll, I'll, I'll take that as a micro win there, pat myself on the back and keep it moving. I got to tell you, Matt, did you quit uh, training and go into bodybuilding? You look huge. You, I mean, like, you look jacked. <laughs> I did start lifting weights, but no, I, I still do jujitsu four no, of days course, a week. Of course you do, but I'm just saying, like yeah. you are as jacked as I've ever seen. Thank you. Look uh, at you. Two, that, it's been two years of consistency. So of, I'm, of I'm just happy. straight training. I turned forty this year, so I have some some fitness. How goals. many kids you got now? Six. Yeah, right. Three. <laughs> I wasn't too far off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Now, are you done? Oh yeah, yeah. Both ends. Yeah. How, how many? How uh, many of of your kids? What's your oldest child? Eight years old, Lucas, the boy. Now, is he already like a 10th degree black belt? No, I mean, he started training at three, three and a half, and uh, now he's a gray, gray and black. It's called a gray and black belt. No, what does that mean? It goes white belt. You can't get a black belt until you go through puberty, so you have to put them on a gray deal. Exactly. (laughs) We we don't give kids black belts. Until you get pubic hair, you can't get your black belt, right? That's a karate, you know. Whatever type thing. Oh, that's that's a karate now at the corner deal, right? Where you're exactly. nine and you're a fourteen degree black belt, you yeah. can break some of these uh and the balsa wood gimmicks. Your ass. Yeah. So listen to this, yeah. I I do have a story. I I had you know, I, I wrestled in high school, just regular wrestling. Mm-hmm. And so there was this guy named Scott Zook, and he was one of those karate guys. You know, mm-hmm. you know, Johnny karate guy. And in in high school, you know, we didn't have in nineteen eighty Two eighty three. There wasn't Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. At least there might have been, but not in Warsaw, Indiana. No. Nope. Your dad took you down to the local karate deal, and you had mm-hmm. to do those kung fu move mm-hmm. kind of yeah, stupid the deal. Swan, Bruce yeah, Lee. like Bruce Lee kind of deal, right? right? Wax on, wax off. So this guy, we were dating the same girl, and he. By the way, he was about <laughs> Scott Zook was about the size of Anna, and I was like jacked. Much, yeah, but okay, but he was a little like he was a little a little squirrel, oh, like okay. you know. 140, and he and he had to say that he was in karate just so people didn't kick his ass, but, you know. Right. So he probably didn't get a lot of ass kicking based on people thinking that he was tough. So him and I were blasting the same girl, and he sent word that he wanted to fight me at the baseball diamonds. So I went down there, 
and I'm running about 225 at the time. And he we go down there at the baseball field. He's like, are you going to stop dating Nicky Dordery? And I go, no. So he took, takes his shirt off, and literally he goes through this whole wax on, wax off. I mean, this oh whole mm-hmm. karate deal and That's all this great. kind of deal. And I just walked up to him and grabbed his legs and threw him down on the ground. Like, I tackled him. Oh and then boy. I just put his face into the dirt and cheese grated it. <laughs> that's it. I don't know what move that's called, but, I mean, I won. And, you know, I'm like, man, you're karate. And, like, he had – literally, he'd be in the in the paper and he'd have trophies, like, the tall as he would. You know, like, he'd be, like, you know, like mm-hmm. five-foot trophies, the trophies that yeah. you get for winning stupid-ass karate contests. Yes. And so that's karate, right yes. there. I, you know, you, and, and that, and they're the ones that when you're seven, you can be like a ten-time black belt. Yes, karate. Exactly. We don't do that here. Nope. Uh, now, Anna, how many yeah. how many girls are in your class? There's quite a few. Would you say there's more than there usually have been in years past? Definitely, absolutely. Yeah, yeah there's it, it probably is, like se- like seven or seven or eight, maybe that that regularly that regular, come yeah. to the intro class. Absolutely. And who's it's the grown quite who's a bit. the baddest girl that trains at your facility, Jeff? Oh, like as, as an intro student or like a, just in general? In, ge- in general. Isn't it that Aaron, Aaron Harp? Harp? Yeah. Aaron Harp by far, yeah. By far. Is yeah. She, is She's she, a monster. Is she a black in the belt? She's I think. Yes. Right? She's a black belt too? Aaron came to us as a blue belt when she was 16, but she had been training since she'd been four with her dad, who was Whoa. a black belt, with Rob. Under, under <laughs> oh, Rob. yeah. Well, she could probably oh, beat up Jeff. So Please. when she was 16, coming here, she was already like a black belt, in my opinion, and we just had to move her along because you can't get your blue belt until 16. So blue belt's the first adult belt you get after white. I don't roll with Aaron any different than I roll with a man. You can't. She'll she'll tear you apart. <clears throat> she you will. She'll and kick you your ass. Have you both rolled with her before? I've yeah, a million times. Okay, and, and it's like she gives you a like a run for your money. So or? Matt, has every yes. time that you've been rolling with her and you're thinking, oh my god, I better get myself out of this one. This bitch is gonna get me <laughs> every time. Yeah, and she's young. She's 25 and an athlete no. and. He knows all the stuff. I know he quit because he just quit because he had a, a bunch of other stuff to do. But could could Eric Grahalis, mm. if he could have kept his weight down, you know, and been like a you know a fifty, a forty, forty five, or a fifty, could he been? Could Eric Grahalis been good? Absolutely, he was good. Yeah, I remember before he stopped coming, he was doing great. I was talking to Rob. You know, when Eric was training with him, he was like, "Man, that kid is just a bull." Like in, in in having the folk style wrestling mm-hmm. background just makes you so much more advanced in in jujitsu. He learned it so quick; it was insane. And I would, then I talked to Eric. And he's like, "I'm not used to trying to hurt people. <laughs> you know, we're, I'm just <laughs> trying to pin you. But I mean, we're trying to really hurt people here." Yeah. No, he. It's almost like a wasted. He stopped wasted doing it. Talent. Yeah, he oh, stopped. Man. He's he just he, you know he went he, he went he just stopped. He just I think I actually end up thinking he took his he took his dad's business over. Yeah, he moved somewhere and he Well, he yeah. went he actually went for like 3 years and was an assistant wrestling coach for like Northern Iowa or something and it okay. paid like 80 grand a year or something. Oh. So he needed to do that. Uh, and then from there, I think that his dad gave him his, you know, his automotive repair shop in mm-hmm. in uh, in St. Pete. And so and so he did that. But God, you were he sponsoring was a, him for a while. Right? I was. I yeah. was sponsoring for him for a while. He, that was a good good move. I he mean, was a just, monster. Yeah. And, uh, he. I think he was a four time all American s- state. Well, no, no. I think two time all American in college, okay. but he was a four time state champion. Jeez. Oh, and he was like um from Brandon, right? Yeah. Uh, and I think I think he might have been like three hundred and fifty and zero. That's insane. And he would have won as an eighth grader. He was two hundred ninety two <clears> and six over six years. At, wow. at Michigan? No, at in his prep his prep years because he was a seventh and eighth grader. Oh yeah, so he got beat a couple times. Yeah, and supposedly his eighth grade year is it would have been a first eighth grader to win state, and he went he went and he in the and went all through the wrestle bat and all all through the tournament and it ended up being that he faced his first cousin in the finals and his first cousin was a senior and it was his first time. To the finals, you know. Wow. So this kid had been there, you know, like however many. Well, Eric makes the finals, you know, number one versus number two, uh, his eighth grade year, and the family, both families, agreed to forfeit because they thought it would be a problem if Eric beat him. <laughs> wow. So the third place guy won the state tournament. <laughs> Otherwise, an eighth grader would have won. How bad? How badass is that? If you're an eighth grader beating twelfth graders, it's almost Not impossible. Great for the 12th grader, but, yeah. uh, anyway, if you want any more information on on Matt's school, it is Gracie Tampa South Tampa, uh, and you got uh, your your web page looks pretty. I know you got a Facebook and you got Instagram, but your web page, uh, Gracie Tampa South dot com is it's interactive and it's got people. You know, it's like you can sign in as a guest or 
you got a little messenger service. Who did yeah. your website for you? It looks pretty fancy. Yeah, there's a company that does martial arts school websites called Market Muscles, and they're amazing. Game, game I mean, it, this thing looks great, and it teaches all the programs. And you've seen a lot of growth, like in the last, even just last year, because I know my sure. class is packed. Yeah, we get. It we're just seems have to get do more and more busy. That, but intro, yeah. intro class is between forty and fifty people. It's insane on a regular yeah. basis. Yeah. Now, yeah. now, now what a, a lot. let's say that you're a dad and your kids, like you know, whatever, fifth, sixth grade, and you want to get them started in this. Mm-hmm. Do they have like as like after school stuff, or is it on Saturdays? Like, what do you like on with regards to the kids portion, man? Yeah, you, if you have kids, we have little ninjas, five years old to seven years old, <laughs> big ninjas, eight to twelve years old, and then a teens program, thirteen to eighteen. And yeah, it's just basically Monday through Friday. Uh, there's some classes on Saturday, but the core classes are Monday through Thursday, pretty much. Now, Matt, how much do you instruct? I teach Monday nights, Tuesday nights, uh, in the advanced class for jujitsu. And then I do Thursday morning pro training, which is what with all like the studs of all the schools come in and we all roll together. Really? And then Friday. Is Jeff allowed there? He is allowed, but he's he teaches a lot, so he's he he's needs tired. his rest Poor time too. Tired. I teach constantly, <laughs> and I, I train I train midday, uh, midday or early morning throughout the week. And so then, you want to go roll with the pros? You're like, oh god, I've been working with I, you. Know. I get a couple of those guys in in my midday classes on Monday, right. Mondays and Wednesdays, and. Occasionally, I'll hit the Friday, uh, the Friday Gi Pro training, and he does a ton of private lessons, a like. lot. So, but so Jeff, I mean, you He's are very patient. You are God available. Bless, yeah. I mean, hmm. not only would a person, if you guys want to get involved in this, you know, go to the class like Anna does, and there's all types of different classes, but you could also do a private, you know, with you as well, like like almost a golf instructor where you could do a private lesson. Absolutely, I do. That's I. I mean, that's the main. That's my main thing. I, I do a lot of private lessons. Matt, do you do private lessons? Or are you out of that? Uh, it's got to be the right. It's got to be the right situation. <laughs> the right situation, the right times, and all that. But yeah, like what I'm if John Travolta busy. called you up and said, "Hey, I want to <laughs> give you, you know, twenty five hundred an He's hour." Fine with to, his jumbo jet. Yeah, you know, pump my jet will come pick you up. I need some. <laughs> I need some MMA t- training there. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah, I would do. Make I'd an do for, I'd make an exception for for John Travolta probably. <laughs> out of all of Rob Khan's, Ro, uh, 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 you know, Gracie. Black belts. Mm-hmm. Give me the top three in toughness. Toughness or overall skill and, and ability to win. Well, I mean, isn't that the there's, a, there's a lot of tough guys that suck. They're just tough. <laughs> <laughs> they just take the beating. They can pain. <laughs> <laughs> so no, the no, most not, skilled not, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go skill. Not tough <laughs> guys that suck. I would say Dan Martinez. I would say Robbie D'Onofrio. And third place would be a tough. There's like. Five guys or do you put you in there? Yeah, I mean, are, you ta- are you top five? Well, we're not talking about me, are we? Well, yeah, Jeff. You you know, Jeff, let me let me have you rank them because <laughs> at that point you might be a little bit more unbiased and you'd throw Matt in there. Top uh, five, top five, Rob Con black belts. Top five, Rob Con oh, wow. black belts. All and right. you're in there we got, too. We got Matt Arroyo, number one. Dan mm. Martinez. I would say Matt Arroyo and Dan Martinez are over there scrapping it out for the first place. Um, how does Matt catch Dan and how does Dan catch Mar- uh, uh, Matt? Dan would get me in a leg lock for sure. Uh, if And what would you get him in? Probably a guillotine if I get him. Uh, sometimes, you know, once in a blue moon, a rear naked choke. But yeah. I think those days for me are, are, like are when a, over. When a, when, a guy <laughs> scat, when a guy's scouting Matt Arroyo, uh, uh, you know, the guy, the guy you're going to fight, mm. who... Who? What? What do they say? Hey, you got to watch out for this one. Just like Jeff, he'll get you in a toe jam, Willie. We were like, what <laughs> yeah, about? Toe jam. What, what about you? Like, what are they? <laughs> what are they saying about Matt Arroyo? Man, you got to watch out for this one because he loves to throw this. Ahead, I, Jeff. I say that definitely a guillotine choke um, is brutal. Uh, he's got really, really strong adaptive passing. So if you defend something, he will learn how to undo it really, really quickly. Um, really good back control. Um, Crazy, crazy body triangle that just crushes you, um, and he's just so core strong. Look at him. I, he's. I even. I, I even hate him more now that he's getting better <laughs> shape. It's, like, it, it's, it's been terrifying these last few years. Yeah, he gets bigger and stronger. He just looks like a be- you look I, like a beaten man. Just I just get older. You know what yeah. I, mean? I just get. I just get older. Poor guy. He, he gets bigger and stronger. I get older. Look like a beaten. Man. <laughs> you do you look like a beaten man. <laughs> Stop. All right, so Anna, I mean, Anna, I'm gonna have you. Yeah. Come up, I'm gonna have you come up here. Oh, right now? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna put in some gum because I, I told you he was I don't have coffee breath. <laughs> uh, yeah, you got coffee breath. I know, I know. If I owned uh, Matt's gym, I would say no coffee breath. Okay, no right. coffee breath. Take a piece of gum before you come. Yeah, brush are you really gonna let her choke you completely out? I don't think she can. No, can she, Matt? Absolutely. No, she can't. Anna, hold on. I'm gonna try my best. 
We got to do this. Dude, the skinny arms like that are the best for chokes. They're, they're the worst. But they're I got like a fat wires. neck. I got a fat neck, Matt. <clears throat> All right, so hold on. So do you want me to like get up there and make sure yes. you don't die? All yes, right. I do. I want Matt, and not Jeff, because Jeff's got a game. He's got a dog in this fight, and you've known me longer. Okay. And you know <clears throat> I'll protest your business. Okay. <laughs> Anna, <laughs> please don't fail me. Okay. okay. Now, okay. here's the deal. Okay, go get, sink it in. Right, get, don't hit me right now. I'm not going to hit I know you. Sometimes you get testy. You know what? I probably should take my headphones off. Okay. Okay, here we go. All right, so there's that. Hold on. Ooh, that's that's still tough just to begin with. I'm telling you. Man, I'm in trouble here. For real. Like, no, for real. Yeah. For real. I'm going to I'm gonna get choked out here in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to... So hold on here. Okay, now hold on. Now the rules are, though, I can... Once you get once you get it sunk, I can't, I can't, I can't hit, but I can, I can at least try to just... Do this. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm going to try to okay. get it where you need it. Hold on, that's starting, starting out too tight. Okay. Is it Matt's giving her pointers. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's not going to be good. So you want to do all the parts? No, well, no. I mean, you right. give, give her. Okay, I'm going to bite it nice and deep. And then elbow it nice and well. Elbows together. So Matt's telling her how to put it in tight. Yeah. Weave that together, Anna. Yep. Elbows in tight. And oh, he tapped. No, no, Bubba, no, no. Bubba tapped no, like a second. Okay, I, didn't, I, okay, I, I, didn't, I should have tapped. I, sh I could have got that one. She barely got <laughs> should, going, and Bubba tapped. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. No, no, when we go, but I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try harder this okay, time. Okay. I, I got a little, I got a little. You scared. get a mulligan. Okay. On I got this? scared. It was, I was a, it was a first time sensation. Yeah. Now I tell now her to put it in hard. I know. I'm a trained professional. Watch me get out of it. Okay. okay. Yeah, hold on now. Okay, you just give me. Okay, ready. One, two, three. She's got it in tight. She's in tight. Bubba's trying to pull. Bubba's trying to pull. Uh oh, I think Bubba's out. I think she tapped him out. <laughs> <laughs> I think she put Bubba to sleep. Did I tap? <laughs> you tapped, Bubba. You tapped. Did I tap? I, I couldn't That's tell if you were ripping or tapping, so I stopped. Oh, I think she put Bubba to sleep for a second. I think I might. I think I might have been out for a second. <laughs> Is that what it feels like to go when they when they say go to sleep? Yes, you would feel like you're like dreaming. But it, did you have some good dreams? He doesn't even, he doesn't even know. Go outs and it, full go outs. I think I had a half to a three quarters go out, but more importantly, like I can't, I can't really remember it. <laughs> it's like Ambien, right? Hannah, can oh, you come over to my house about six o'clock here? Nothing sexual. I just need her to come in, choke okay, me out, okay. put me to sleep. All right, gotcha. I can get off Ambien. We'll put her on loan. We'll put her on loan. <laughs> what? What? Yeah. That's all Jeff oh, right there. Holding, no, see, but I was Jeff. holding his heart now. It, <laughs> that was tight. That little bitch has got it. She throws it in there. Yeah. Screw yeah. you, Jeff, you bald-headed son of a bitch. <laughs> Dark match, Matt, <laughs> teaching her those skills against me now. <laughs> I'm gonna go to. I'm gonna go train with Matt so I can have some counter skills on. Yeah. And Bubba, it's a lot of fun. It, it really is, and it is a great community of people. Everyone's super cool. I think I might have been out for a second. You definitely did. It was a flash. I think you might have saw the dark side. I'm embarrassed. You talk to God. I'm embarrassed. I'm gonna tab you out. I know, Lummy, you're fired, bitch. Yeah, this is Lummy's fault. <laughs> yeah, Lummy. I, mean, I got choked out by Rob. No, Come on. I know, but. I'm but not by Anna. Damn, I'm not the choke out guy. Yeah. I'm the host. Rob Connell you know, type everybody you know, out. You don't see Dana White getting choked out, bitch. By a white belt. <laughs> by a white belt. That's true. I, I'm Dana White on this whole operation, and I just got choked by a double striped white belt with a Jeff bald headed guy kicker. Mm -hmm. Thank God Matt Rode was there for me. <laughs> oh my God, Anna, that's, yeah. Anna, that was white belts. was that pretty good? That's right. And and, and, that. and isn't a lot of times, guys, like if you're in a combative situation. That rear naked's there all the time, isn't it? I mean, like, isn't it a lot of people like that's offered up more than people know, isn't it? Yeah, when you, you can usually get that when you take someone down and get on top mount, which is basically just like on top of them, right. and you start hitting them, they're always going to turn because they don't want to get hit in the face. They'd rather get hit in the back of the head. So when they turn and try to stand up, the choke is perfect. It's it right just there. puts it right in there, does it not? Yeah, it's all counterintuitive. Everything and you're supposed to do in jiu-jitsu, they, they don't do. Is that why the announcers, as soon as a guy gives up his back, they're like, oh, God. Yes. It's over. Mm -hmm. It's the beginning it's, of the end. It's over. Because from there, man, and then you sink the hooks in, right? And mm -hmm. then it's just it's lights out. How many street fights have you guys been in while, you know, practicing? 
the sport? I, I've only been in two. Just two where you got to show your stuff on mm-hmm. the on the street? Really? Mm-hmm. What happened? That must have been so cool. I was a purple belt. I had been training <laughs> two and a half years. It was May of 05. I had graduated from UT. I went home for the summer. Uh, there's only It was a small town in upstate New York, 5,000 people, and there was one bar. And I went out that night to celebrate, and I was talking to this girl who I knew. I wasn't even really flirting. I just knew her from high school. We were catching up. And while I'm talking to her, her boyfriend comes from the side and smacks me in the face. Full a force. Suck, sucker? Like freaking Will Smith. Yeah, Will Smith. Right. <laughs> full like Will force. Smith, Chris Chris Rock. Rock. You were Chris Rock. I was Chris Rock. Except and, you gave him the great news afterwards, didn't you? <laughs> and I was drunk. <clears throat> so it's, I have way less control. So right. I said, I, and I knew the owners of the bar. It's a small town. So I said, all right, let's go. Just like a movie. Let's go outside. <laughs> right? Like Patrick Swayze in Roadhouse. Go I clear said, some house. I, the exact words were, let's go outside right, right now. Right now. <laughs> Like I was, I couldn't wait. And my brother, but, did, was but in, hold on, did he get a good one in on you? It was good. Right. It was. It was, was, it, was it a sucker punch? It was loud. It was, yeah. but it wasn't even. I would rather him punch me. He oh. smacked me. Oh, oh he bitch! Yeah, that's slapped more like yeah. That's the worst. And he's this redneck little guy. Like he, he was gonna get killed. So let me tell you something, matter. Are you Mexican? You get my girlfriend. I'm gonna come whoop your ass. Buddy. Exactly. Okay. He's like the kid that stayed in the town. <laughs> right. You know, I didn't do right. anything. Working or go out anywhere. the farm elevator, the I, grain elevator. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Right. So. We step outside. Of course, my brother's in the bathroom. Didn't see any of this. No, no. Mm. My, what my best friend saw, he came out with us, and but this little guy came out with three of his friends. Oh. So we go into the parking lot. Two come after me. Two come after my friend. They they knock my friend out. I of push, course. I push the one as hard as I can. And remember, I'm a. I haven't done any MMA yet. I don't know striking very well yet. I don't even know wrestling very well. I just knew jujitsu. I was a guard player off my back. So this kid comes at me. I push the one down to the floor. I knew I had like five seconds for this other kid to get up and help him. So I pull guard. I put him in a triangle choke, and I start squeezing. And I saw him going. Now, in a street fight, you don't recognize type taps. You try to kill him, don't you? <laughs> no, no. Uh, you try to kill him. Just but... trying to put him out. So okay. once, once he falls asleep, I let go. But he wasn't right. falling asleep right away. So I start punching him in the face while he's in the triangle. I remember because I had blood all over the inside of my jeans when I the next day. Your Cavaricis. His buddy who I pushed. <laughs> <laughs> my Cavaricis. His buddy Sorry, who I man. pushed over walked over and started kicking me in the face while I was triangle choking him. So two on one, it's not as effective. But uh, <laughs> but anyway, so I knew I just needed to hold another few seconds before he goes out. So he I goes out. Get up and get this kid. But the cops, it's a it's like a freaking tiny town. The cops were already there. So as I choked this kid out and this kid's kicking me in the face. The cops like break it up. <clears throat> we stand up. My friend is was out cold, and I, I'm looking at this kid like he has to pay. Like the world was unbalanced. He had to pay. I don't care right. if there were cops there. He had you to still pay. Got for, one up he started on hitting the for cops the, for the kick on my face. Right. Multiple, right. a black eye, right. bloody lip. So you just I don't give I don't care if I'm going to jail or not. I gotta get even. So I on we this knew deal. the cops too. So it's everybody. It was everybody knew each other. So I look over at my friend who finally woke up from getting knocked out and he starts screaming because he thinks he's still fighting. So he's and so everybody <laughs> looked over there for one second and I thought to myself, my drunk self, this is my opportunity to hit this kid. He was like within arm's reach. So every while everyone was looking, including the cop, I threw the best hardest right hand punch I ever threw. Picture perfect. <laughs> right on the chin, the kid dropped to the floor, stood up halfway for a second, and then dropped fully. And mm-hmm. the cop just didn't do anything. He looked at me, he's like, why would you do that? <laughs> mm-hmm. He's like, now we got to take you in. I'm like, well, it was worth it. So that was the only time I've ever been in any real real trouble. Like, I got a, a, a misdemeanor, like, a, whatever, $95 ticket. Disorderly conduct is what they gave me. Yeah, worth it. Mummy. Totally worth it. <laughs> Mummy? Yes, sir. Take that, take that belt and present <laughs> it to one Anna Hummel. Oh, me? <laughs> she has the new strap. Dan's not yes! going to be real happy about it. What? See, we give, we have a, a, and you guys have seen, like, you know, you've seen the UFC championship belt. You may have held oh, yeah, it. yeah, I've held it, yeah. Th- this is a belt that's made by the people that make the same belts that make for you. This is a real belt. This no is a, this is yeah, it's not yeah. a plastic. Hold on to it. Let him hold it for a second. Yeah. yeah. Like, hold this belt. This is a real yeah. championship belt. Wow. That's a $3,000, and we give it what? to We. It's a $3,000 championship belt. Our top 20 contributors to our programs are on the platform. Yeah, it's a real belt. Yeah. It's a real belt. This is heavy. And Holy. We give it to the person that's, you know, the funniest or the most, fa- it's the, you know, the, the current yeah. most popular best person of the show. Currently, Dr. Dan Diaco has it. Okay. I am the Dana White. I control the belt. And Anna, the chat, and everybody overwhelmingly says, Oh, really? The belt goes to you for choking you out hate me. the oh, boss yeah. man. That's awesome.
Thank you for allowing me to choke you. I, <laughs> thank you to Jeff for teaching me and Matt Arroyo for having the studio thank, for me to learn. Oh my yeah. God. Thank you for Matt Arroyo and screw Jeff and teaching you the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Matt and Jeff, we got to have, like, seriously, Matt, let's have you guys in, you know, every four to six weeks just to BS a little bit. Maybe we can have you guys in on the Fridays where there's a, like a real sexy Emmett, like a UFC pay-per-view. Yeah. Talk about your school. Like predictions. and, and Billy you know, Q should be fighting soon in the UFC. So is, that one, be, is that one of your guys? Yeah, Billy Q. Yeah, he'll have a fight probably June or July. So we're, we're going to get news in the next couple weeks. So That's maybe so we bring him on. Yeah. And if somebody wants to contact you guys to start training, what's the best way to do it? Gracie just, Tampa South, Gracie yeah, Tampa South dot com, right? Just go on the website, pick the program you want, and just put put your name and email in, and we'll contact you. Or you can just call us at eight one three three one nine five eight zero zero and and come in for a free class and a tour. Gracie, awesome. uh, get all those Tampa. social medias too. So yep. check Facebook, us out on Instagram. Instagram. See and pictures and uh, videos. listen, and Jeff, some other effort. But he can even teach, you know, stupid bitches from Michigan how to choke out men. I'm from San Diego, please. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jeff, thank you for being I'd a take good them spot. All. Hey, Come on next on. Come time, on. can I choke out Jeff? Uh, I'm, in. I'm in. I'm in. He's in. You think I could choke you out, Jeff, with uh, proper training? Oh, yeah. With proper training? <laughs> I'm available for private lessons. <laughs> Jeff, teach me how to choke you out, buddy. Never do it. Matt, thank you so much. Let's have you thank and you. Jeff in more often. Absolutely. Thank we you. Love and it. more thank importantly, you. man, thank you for what you're doing for Anna. Yeah, I love it. It's really, Our honest pleasure. to God. It's a lot of fun. It has really taken her swag factor. Just your school. Yeah. I mean, she is having sex with Blitz now, but I'm just saying, <laughs> just, your, just your school has turned her around. And I think I could do it for anybody, really, for real. And yep. Absolutely. people need to realize, man, you're not, I, I don't care if you're as fat as I am. I know. No, Jeez. for real. Again, 98% of nobody is going to, they're not, you're not going to be a pro fighter, but you're going to get in shape and you're going to be tougher. That's it. That's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Mental health helps a lot too. You got the after show? Yep. Jeff and uh, Matt, thank you. Thank you. Anna, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I do think the bitch put me to sleep for a second. I think so. (laughs) I think I did too. God damn. Surprise myself. See you guys online.